you the first one to go to college? Yes. In your family? Well, uh, in my family, my immediate family, yes. Mm -hmm. But I, I had um, one cousin who had come to Northridge, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. Mm -hmm. uh, but she was only here, I believe, like a year, and then, uh, and then she and then quit. She left. And so I was the first one to actually, from the entire family, not just my immediate family, to go to college and, and to stay. How did you figure it out how to go to college? Oh, that was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> because um, when, when you're poor mm -hmm. and you hang out with poor kids and nobody knows anything, and especially then, right. I mean, there was no internet, there was, you know, how do you find out? I was very fortunate because in my activities with the union, I in the different marches, rallies, um, meetings in Delano, I would meet a lot of students from um, San Berkeley. Francisco, mm -hmm. Berkeley, um, a lot of the Cal States over there. And so I would talk to them and ask stupid questions like, how do you go to college? Mm -hmm. how, I mean, how do you even do that? Um, and, and at first they would say, oh, go talk to your counselor. Your counselor in high school will guide you. Well, my counselor told me, you should not go to college uh, because um, I've had many fine Mexican-American youths who tried going to college and they, got, they went crazy. I said, wow. really? <laughs> who was who that? Uh, and uh, my counselor would say, oh, college is really hard and you're not gonna make it. And I'd say, I'm number three in my class of you know 570 students. Um, how do you figure I'm not going to make it in college? I think I'm smart enough. And he'd say, "Oh, it's not just whether you're smart enough. It's you know you're going to be alone and uh, you you won't make it." Um, he and I and finally I just said, "Well, can you just tell me how how do I do this?" And he said, "No, I'm not going to help you because wow. you shouldn't be going to college. And how are you going to pay for it? College is really expensive." And I said, well, I, I spoke to some people and they said they have financial aid. And he said, there is no such thing as financial aid. And um, so it was somebody who actively didn't want you to go to college. Didn't want me to go to college. And and not only that, he refused to give me any information. So I went back to students. I'd run into students and they'd say, well, talk to your counselor. I said, no, I talked to my counselor and he won't help me. And so um, they'd say, well, all you need to do is just write to the college. And I'd say, but I don't have an address. And they'd say, well, just write. Uh, oh, and before doing that, I sent letters to, I went to the public library and I got names of all the assembly people, senators, you know, and, and I wrote to every single one of them. And I said, I want to go to college. I'm a smart student. How do I go to college? How do I do this? And I got form letters from them saying, thank you for your interest in the legislative process of the state of California. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they stop, sometimes they would even send me books about the legislative process. And I was just so frustrated. I would just throw them all in the trash and um, nobody was gonna help me. So anyway, so then back to the students, they'd say, just write like whatever the university is and the city. And it'll get there. So um, I, I thought, well, what have I got to lose, right? So, um, so I did that, and uh, I, I didn't really know what were the names of the universities. I could all, I only knew of one because somebody had mentioned to me San Jose State University, and uh, well, at that time it was it was a college, San Jose State College, and it was known for being a teacher school. Mm -hmm. And I guess before it, it was only a teacher school. And at that time, I didn't know what I, what I wanted to study, but I thought teaching sounded good. So I figured I'll be a teacher. So I wrote to them and um, they sent me an application. It worked and they sent me an application for financial aid. They sent me everything. And, uh, but one of the conditions in order to, for them to consider me is, they needed my transcripts. So my counselor had to approve that. So I went to my, so I sent in my application and I said, I went to my counselor, I said, I've applied, but you need to approve 
that the school can send my transcripts? And he says, no. I told you before, you shouldn't go to college. You should go to a cosmetology school. Um, do something else. Your parents can't afford it. You're going to go crazy. You're not going to make it. I'm, I'm doing this for your own good. So he refused. So I got a letter from the university saying transcripts didn't come, so I couldn't get in. And um, so I didn't know what to do at that point. Uh, and then I, I suddenly thought, oh my gosh, why didn't I go to, there was this uh, dean of women at the school. And uh, she used to teach um, English to adults in the evenings. And, and my dad had gone uh, for that. And so that's how I had met her. But she was actually the dean of women. So I made, you have to, at that time, maybe now also, you have to make appointments to meet mm -hmm. with the, the counselors. So I met with her and I told her what had happened and she was irate. She was just, you know, uh, she just couldn't believe that that had happened. And she said, I'm signing it right now. Your transcripts will get sent, but my transcripts got there too late. And so, um, I mentioned it to, I told you there was a VISTA volunteer working in the office with me and I, I told him what had happened and I said, so I guess I'm not going to go to college because um, my transcripts got there too late. So he said, have you talked to Cesar about this? And I said, no, why would I talk to him? <laughs> and he says, well, I think you should, but, but I didn't. Um, I still was even more in awe of, of Cesar. And so then um, he talked to him. He talked to Cesar and Cesar at one of their meetings, he, he said, I, I want to talk to you. And so he said, I hear you want to go to college and you've been having problems. And so I told him everything that had happened. And he said, well, let me see what I can do. And he said, would you want to go to San Jose State if, if I could work that out? And I said, yeah, that's the only school I applied to. And he said, okay, let me see what I can do. Next thing I know, I've gotten in. And uh, I didn't know at the time. I mean, I used to think like, wow, he's a magician on top of everything else. <laughs> like, how in the world did that happen? And actually, there's, there's a very mundane, ordinary explanation of how I got in. But I didn't know it at the time. And, uh, you know, but anyway, that's how I ended up in college. That's an amazing story. Yeah, yeah.